So it is a 40 degree day here in beautiful Cedar Park. You wouldn't know it today though because it is cloudy and gloomy and it's supposed to storm. But that wouldn't stop us from making a vlog for you guys. If this is your first time to the channel and you're wanting to know what it's like to work, eat, sleep, lift, play in Austin, Texas, consider subscribing. Uh, we do weekly videos like this one, vlog tours of certain areas in Austin, so be sure to comment down below certain areas that you'd like for us to check out. And consider hitting that like button, it helps our channel grow. Drop blah, blah, us blah. a comment. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Personally, I'm proud to call Cedar Park my home. I moved here from Houston when I was about three years old. And back then, you know, Cedar Park was uh, tiny. It still is rather small in the grand scheme of things. You know, it's a suburb. However, um, the way it's expanded is just, it's amazing to see the growth. You know, now there's so many new places, new spots, things to do. Uh, and it's a great place, you know, if you've got a family to raise those kids and put them in great schools. <laughs> you look like a random thing. Say hi, boys. What up? What's up? Caleb's got his Pizza Hut pizza from Target. Uh, he enjoys fine dining. And this is the area for that. So, this is one of Cedar Park's better shopping centers. It's called 1890 Ranch. You've got a movie theater. You've got Chick-fil-A, you've got salons, you've got Target, you've got Burlington, you've got ice cream, you've got bookstores, you've got Thai looking fly. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> hey. What's nice about this area is you're about, you're within five minutes of all the closest schools. You're within five minutes of parks, five minutes of the freeway, five minutes of neighborhoods. Take your date, take your family. On a day like today, it's pretty cold, but even still, it's a nice environment. Nice and quiet. So this is a good central hub for Cedar Park and all it encompasses. Park, you have a lot of shopping, a lot of areas. Here we have an Old Navy, we have a Michaels, Nordstrom Rack, you've got Marshalls, you've got World Market. In addition, there's a Red Robin Burgers, there's Freebirds Burritos. All right, guys, we got Chewy's up here. If you haven't been to Chewy's, you're missing out. And there's only, there's a handful of them around Austin and you've got to go to them. They've got creamy, Jalapeno, that's what it's called. You gotta order it with your chips. What else? Oh my God, they got some great margaritas. Seasonal, the black, what is it? The blackberry? Blackberry, blackberry margaritas. They grow their blackberries on site. On site. It is delicious and it will, it'll, it'll get you feeling good. See in Texas, uh, for us, 40 degrees is pretty it's cold. cold. <laughs> Especially, cold. you know, if you're moving from a place where you're used to dry air, um, in Texas, thankfully we're not like other places in Texas where it's much more humid, but even still in Austin, the air here is a little bit heavier, it's a little bit more dense. So when it's 40 degrees and there's the slightest hint of maybe rain or drizzle, you really feel that 40 degrees. And so me and the guys are just freezing, freezing our butts <laughs> off right now. Also, um, also never lived anywhere other than Texas, so kind of a Right, <laughs> so when you live here and you're used to it, you know, it, 
when it gets to 40 or the high 30s, you're just, you know, I'm, I'm wearing gloves today. <laughs> um, but if you're moving from a place where, you know, you're used to five degree, 10 degree winters and buckets of snow, well, you're gonna be delighted <laughs> when you come here. And just the other day it was 70, so it can be pretty sporadic. So right now we're just in the middle of Cedar Park Shopping Center. I've got the Costco behind me. Uh, there's an abundance of places I would probably just get lost trying to list them all for you. But even here, you know, you've got your ducks. Uh, it's a nice little slice of paradise in a place that you really wouldn't expect it, right? Cedar Park is pretty, but it's not known for its beauty. But even still, you've got nice places like this. You've got sidewalks, you can take a nice stroll, uh, feed the ducks if you want and go shopping, you know, even on a day like this where it's, it's a little cold here, um, you've got an abundance of people in midday just out and about in the area, uh, just because it is that nice. So, uh, Caleb, what's shh, what are your... Shh. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting for ducks. <laughs> <laughs> it's rabbit season. Duck season. It's rabbit season. Duck season. Rabbit season. Rabbit season. Duck season. <laughs> <laughs> So now we are in one of my favorite neighborhoods in Cedar Park, and that is Silverado Ranch. Just up the street, we have a middle school, we have a high school. You've got about, I don't know, four or five neighborhoods alone just within the two mile radius of here. You've got the parks. Uh, the shopping center that we were at earlier is just two minutes away. I've actually played a lot of fetch with my dog here in this field. He loves it, soft grass. Something I really like about Cedar Park is that uh, you're about 20 to 30 minutes north of the metro area in Austin. Uh, you're about five minutes from Leander. You're about 15 minutes from Georgetown. Uh, about 15 minutes from Round Rock. So it's a great centrally located suburb. So homes like these you're looking at uh, probably starting in the high threes, maybe the low fours. You got a plenty of square footage, I'd say north of uh, 3,000 for plenty of them, maybe 4,000. A lot of them might be though in the mid twos, depending on the price and the size, of course. So this area is my stomping grounds. I went to middle school here, grades six, seven, and eight. I went to high school here, uh, nine, 10, 11, and 12. It was a little bit less developed, but man, a uh, gorgeous place to live. Great neighborhoods here, a lot of good memories pool parties, all that good stuff. So now we're at one of my favorite parts in Cedar Park, and that is Brushy Creek Park. Uh, you've got baseball, you've got soccer, you've got football. You have access to trails that you can walk for 15 miles. It connects to a neighborhood called Avery Ranch. It connects to your local YMCA. It connects to a little lake you can go fishing. Um, I like to come to these parks myself uh, to either read or I'll meditate if that's your thing, if it's not, um, but also just to enjoy the day. There's a playground for the kids, skate park behind me. Huh. Speaking of sports, uh, guys, what do you play? I play only the classiest of sports. Okay. Tennis, golf, disc golf. <laughs> None of which are real sports. <laughs> what about you, Ty? X, football, and baseball, but gave that up officially a has been. I play slow pitch softball now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Classy. So now we're at the part of Brushy Creek Park where people like to come here and have picnics. Uh, there's another playground for your kids. People like to come here and fish. Um, I was just here recently hanging out. It was a nice sunny day. Um, in winter, it was like probably high 60s. So you get a lot of that here. Um, and this is still well connected to your schools, your neighborhoods, your restaurants, your shopping centers. Uh, so it's a little slice of nature. Uh, right in the heart of a nice suburb. And you're only about 20 minutes from Austin, so works out. Hey guys, do you, uh, do you fish at all? Oh yeah, yes, I love fishing. Definitely. I've never fished in my life. What's it like? Relaxing. Calming. Do you like kill the fish or do you? Do you, you eat them. You eat them or you throw them back. What's your favorite fish, Ty? Crappie.
So Cedar Park is a great area. It's one of my favorites personally, um, but it's not for everyone. You know, we get people reaching out all the time who are moving and relocating here, and we absolutely love it. Uh, so if that's you, if that sounds like you, and you're wanting downtown Austin, you're wanting Georgetown, you're wanting Cedar Park, either way, you gotta reach out. Days, nights, weekends, call, text, and email. We've got your back when moving to Austin, Texas. If this video is providing value to you, we would greatly appreciate it if you could tap the like button. It really helps us grow as we make more videos for you guys. Once a week, we make videos like this one, vlog style, so be sure to let us know which areas you're curious about, which neighborhoods you might wanna check out, suburbs, you name it. Last week was Round Rock, this week was Cedar Park, as well as other informative videos of cost of living, pros and cons, we rank neighborhoods, etc. Until the next video, we'll catch you later.